Dr. Bresley. Hi. Thank you for volunteering. You're welcome. So what is your tabletop, the issue that you'd like to address? Um, I think I would probably start with uh, maybe being unworthy or being a doormat. Being, okay. Um, are those the same thing or is that two separate? I think it's probably the same thing. I think okay. it's one and the same. Okay, so which one, which, which term would you prefer to use? I probably would prefer doormat. Okay, being a doormat. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. So what does being a doormat mean for you, mean to you? It means, um, just let everybody walk all over you. Okay. Okay. And so, um, is that something that you feel like you are or that you're afraid of being? No, it's definitely something that I was raised to be. Raised to be, okay. Okay. So, um, when you, when you think about W would you say I'm I'm a doormat? Is that what you yeah, would that say? That sounds about right. Okay. I am a doormat. Yep. Okay. Okay. And how much intensity is there around that? Well, I would say that's a ten. Ten. Okay. And what emotions are coming up as you say that? Sadness. Sadness. Okay. And the sadness is a ten. Yeah, sadness is a ten. Okay. Are there other emotions that are coming up? Well, maybe I'm mad that I'm still a doormat, so yeah, that would be a 10 too. Okay. And where do you feel it in your body? I feel it in my chest. In your chest? Okay. Where, where in your chest? Right here. In your heart? Okay. And is that a, is that a 10 as well? Or the yeah. Okay. So wh when's the earliest you remember having that, that feeling in your chest? Oh, I don't... I don't know. Um, I never really thought about it until much later in life. Okay. Do you have early memories of of feeling like a doormat, or just when you? All right, let me stop there. You have early memories of feeling like a doormat. Not like a doormat, but early memories of what I was supposed to do. Okay. And so, do you have a specific early memory of... Oh, yeah, I have a lot of them. You know, helping, you know, my father was uh, always about me helping, you know, me helping my mother, you know, taking care of my younger brother and sister, cleaning up, uh, taking, helping my mother. Taking care of brother and sister. Babysitting. Babysitting. Is taking care of your brother and sister the same as babysitting? Yeah. Okay, cleaning up, mm -hmm. taking care of your mother, did you say, or helping you? No, mother? helping my mother. Helping mother. And were you the oldest? I was second oldest. I had an older brother. Okay. Useless. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess I was the oldest. <laughs> okay, useless older brother. <laughs> Some energy there. A lot of energy everywhere. <laughs> okay. okay, so um, do you remember a specific event early in your childhood where you had to do one of these things and your useless older brother? Um, the event that comes to mind is I'm 11 years old and my father is waiting at the end of our property for me to come off of the bus. Um, I was in sixth grade so I was running up the block so my father was getting ready to come downtown to go to work my mother was at work, and my sister at the time was one, because I was 11, she was one, and my brother was four, so I had to get home from school to take care of them, because my father had to go to work. Okay. So that's one that stands out a lot. Okay. So, so you saw him um, waiting for you to get off the bus. Right. And you knew that as soon as you get off the bus, you were going to have to take care of them. My younger brother and sister. Okay. And when you think back to that, when you see your father waiting there. I knew I had to hurry. You knew he had, had to hurry, hurry up. He had to go to work. Okay. And what was his, um, how was he? How was he? Um, 
patiently waiting? No, we, my father has no patience. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. He was always angry. He was always angry. Okay. He didn't have to say anything, you know. Ah, okay. I just got there and did what I was supposed to do. There was no conversation. How was your day? No. And as, you, as you're thinking about this, what is the intensity uh, of this? Well, it's, it's you know, a 20. Uh, okay. okay. So that, that feeling of, of expectation, other people's expectations on you? Gee, I never looked at it that way. Um, I, it was just, I was always, I don't know, I was always doing a job, always helping out. And, and how did you feel about doing the job? Was that like something you were proud of being able to do? or I don't know if I even knew I was supposed to have feelings about that. Okay. It's just something that you did. Yeah, that's what I was raised to do. I mean, that's just my father. I don't even want to talk about his mother. I mean, it started, you know. Okay, so, um, and excuse me just one minute. Dawson, do you want us to to do this as a session or to, to get more table legs with this? Let's go ahead and get a few more aspects of that one event. Okay. And then move on to another table leg and uh, get a few table legs. Okay. okay. And then see if we can get some of these down a bit. Okay. Maybe a little below the depression. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, that's it's what happens. This is what happens. Okay. So, so you're getting off the bus. Before, when you were on the bus and you're getting there, did you know he was going to be waiting there for you? Every day. Okay. So Every you, day. So you knew he was going to be waiting. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you were feeling how when you knew uh, he was going to so be I waiting? So I just wish he'd hurry up and get to work and just leave us alone, just get out of the house, just go. Okay. And get to work. And were your brother and sister happy to see you? I don't even remember. I don't, I, I have no recollection of that. Okay. Well, I guess that's weird. You just knew that you had to take care of them when you got there. Yeah, and I just was happy that my father was leaving. Okay. And that was never good when he was home. Okay. I saw a lot of stuff. I, I take lots of notes, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Because it helps when we go to work on this. Because Thank you. This is your energy that's given this information, mm -hmm. and, and so we want to get to the point. So, anything else about that? You know, being on the bus, coming from school. Had you had a good day at school? Probably. I'm very social. <laughs> okay. So you'd had a good day at school. Probably having a good old time on the bus. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. And then bus stop, and you've got to get going get going yeah. and shift into a, you know, the responsible one. Right. I guess, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So anything else about that particular event that you can think of? No, but that's what, you know, trained me to be the doormat that I am today. Okay. So that was the training. Okay. The, ex the expectation. This is what you're going to do. Yep. Okay. So... Dawson, you have any other questions for that one? Any other uh, visuals, maybe? What mm -hmm. would you, what would you to see? Was Dad's face, Dad's car? What was? I don't know that that I. Yeah, I did see him standing on the side sidewalk waiting for me. Um, so I would say I saw that, but there was always that that energy, you know, that tension, that yeah, that anger that he could just, you know. The unpredictability of it? No, he was always predictable. predictable. He was always oh. mad. No, okay. that, that was not pretty. There's no unpredictability there. Okay. okay. He was always angry. He could have used EFT. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. So, where do your body feel this right now as you talk about it? Well, I feel it all on my chest. Chest. I feel it all on my chest. Like the fact that you were talking about before. Yeah. yeah. And. and if you to go into your chest, I mean, if we you know, if we're going to go that, that uh -huh. route, can you can you tell me a little bit more about that energy in your chest? What that feels like? Suffocating. Suffocating. Suffocating makes it hard to breathe. Makes it hard to breathe. Okay. 
is there any shape to it? I think it's just pulling me. It's pulling me down. Pulling me it's down. Just, yeah, pulling me into the ground. Okay. And does it have a color? It would be black. Black. Okay. And if we have time, those are all things that we'd want to work on. Is that that's those sensations because, mm -hmm. and and when you have those sensations. Today, when something happens, when somebody's expecting things of you, that mm -hmm. brings up those old, old mm -hmm. things. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so with the same, you know, being a doormat, being the one that always helps. So is there any other memory that comes up? Another table leg. Well, I could talk about my father's mother, who. Um, really was the one, was really the driver of even that. Mm -hmm. I mean, she even... Did she live with you? Oh, no, thank God. But she would come and visit, and uh, she would, she could stay for months at a time, and she would sleep in my bed, and oh, it was horrible. Okay. And when you think about that, what's the... Well, another 20? I try, and, I try and change the story when I think about it. No, oh, you mean, yeah. yeah. You know, it's a ten. It's a ten. Okay. And stay. For, she would stay for months. She would never, you know, just come and say how long she was staying. She would just. I just hoped it wasn't that long. Okay. And so, can you picture? her at all? Oh yeah, I, yeah. I could hear her telling me you know, all the things that I'm supposed to be doing. Girls' jobs were to you know, cook and clean and mop the floors and I would argue all the time, well what's a boy's job? You know. Girls' jobs are, okay. But you were the only girl that was doing those jobs? Well yeah, because my sister at the time, you know, she was a baby. Okay. But eventually she started on her too, many years later. Okay. And that's just the way she was. Okay. That was her expectation. Yeah, she didn't know any better. She Although she was much better with the boys, because they were boys. So this was her expectations of how girls should be, right? Probably her, I her think expectations on her as a, as a child. Maybe so, maybe so. She just wasn't. She just wasn't fond of girls. Okay. She she preferred the boys. Okay. They got special treatment. They did. They did. Can you? remember a specific time that that happened for you? I could remember a specific time. I remember when she had gone to Spain and the boys got all these great, you know, toys or, you know, whatever they got. I got sheets for my bed. <laughs> I'll never forget that. I should forget that, but I'll never, well, because she would sleep in my bed. Right. So I got sheets for my bed. <laughs> I was very lucky. <laughs> and I remember one time, she, she used to work in Manhattan one time, she was a seamstress, she had taken me to work with her, but she would make me something special. I got an apron. <laughs> okay. Okay, my tour. So that's another table leg. Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. She thought it was special, right? Yeah, I guess. I don't know. You didn't think it was special? <sighs> I just wanted her to go home. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted her to go home and I wanted my father to go to work. And as a little kid, you didn't really have much power about that, did you? No. 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 And is that when you're feeling powerless now as an adult? Is that I didn't realize that word powerless until you just brought it up. But yeah. Yep. I guess I was always powerless. And most of the kids are powerless. Mm -hmm. But but it does, in the situations you're in today, when you're feeling powerless, does it trigger all this, these old emotions? Uh, I guess so. That's why I verbalize. I might yell and scream a little. <laughs> okay. 
if I get upset. Were you allowed but to I, do that as a kid? Um, well, when I did, you know, scream, like if I would scream, let's say my brother was bothering me, and I just had that um, realization with Damon before that um, I would yell, you know, Johnny's bothering me, and then I would have to go to my room because, you know, I didn't realize it's, my mother would say it was the way I would say stuff, but it really was that children should be seen and not heard, kind of a thing that he helped me with. Thank you. Writing on your wall? Writing on my walls, yeah. yeah. Okay. So that's another table leg. Okay. You know, yelled at my brother, sent to my room. Right. So that would be it's the way you thing. say things, so don't say them. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So, you know, this one issue has a number of, of table legs. I guess that's so. why I needed to be here. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So um, I have not really kept track of the time, Dawson. Do we have time to work a little bit on this? Definitely, yes. Okay. And uh, just wanted to get some ages from you on the other two things. So, what, okay. what, how old were you when you got the? Special gift of those sheets. Uh, oh, um, I would I'd probably say I was about seven or eight. Okay. And the apron, my gosh, I was probably four. Oh, okay. Seven or eight years old. I could even bring up when my sister was born. My grandmother was staying with us, and she came in the bedroom to wake me up that when my sister was born, and she was like, oh, it's another girl. <gasps> I'm just saying. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> You'll be all right. <laughs> yeah, but that my heart goes out to you because oh, thank that, you. that it's another girl. The message that you got with that. Well, and right. Well, it's okay. She did the best she could do. Maybe. <laughs> With what she knew how to right. what she knew. Absolutely. Okay. So that would be another big big pretty big yeah, table leg. Yeah. And and it may have been that at what were you, nine or ten when that happened? Uh, I was ten when that happened, yeah. Ten when that happened. It may not have had the impact as much impact then mm -hmm. as it might have now when you look back at it realizing what it meant to you. Yeah, I I don't know. I I remember it because I always thought it was crummy, and I was so thrilled to have a sister. Okay. You know, because we were all boys. They were all boys. You know, that, that my brothers, my um, my grandmother's other two grandchildren were boys. So. Oh, okay. Okay. You just rolled your eyes up. That again, that would be another thing to you know, kind of like when you said that. That's mm -hmm. that's another yeah. kind of aspect of. Mm -hmm. Again, perhaps another table leg in this doormat thing about men and women, boys and girls, mm -hmm. and expectations yeah. of how you. Yeah. Okay. So, of these, um, let's see the the um, the one that has the most juice to it that we maybe could do a little bit with it. You said uh, waiting, waiting. Your father waiting for the bus was a twenty. Um, the um, your grandmother coming sleeping in your bed was about a ten. The the sheets. What would you say that is? Well, that could be my problem with not being able to receive <laughs> right there. Okay, so um, uh, you know, whatever. Yeah. I, they're all they're all interwoven. They're wherever you want to go. <laughs> now it's really where you want to go. <sighs> Let's do my father waiting for me. I okay. guess. I don't know. A it's lot fine. of aspects. Okay. No. Yeah. Okay. So you're familiar with EFT, yep. and so um, I'm going to have to pardon me having to look back because I really want to mm -hmm. use your words rather than my interpretation of what you said. Mm -hmm. So if I say something that isn't true or wasn't what you meant, please correct me. And if something else comes up as you're doing another piece of the memory, another aspect, don't hesitate to jump in. And Okay. And share that. Okay. 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 Let me just look at this real quick. Okay. So tapping on the side of your hand, take a breath and let it out. Even though when I was 11 years old. Even though when I was 11 years old. And I was coming home from school on the bus. And I was coming home from school on the bus. And my father was waiting. My father was waiting for me. 
to because I had to take over because I had to take over and I went from being happy about school and I went from being happy at school about have to having to take care of my brother and sister to having to take care of my brother and sister and I, I really just wanted him to leave because he was so angry and I really just wanted him to leave because he's always so angry and and I love and accept myself anyway and I love and accept myself anyway so even though he was waiting there for me even though he was waiting there for me soon as I got off the bus soon as I got off the bus there he is there he is standing at the end of the road standing at the end of the road so angry so angry angry at me angry at me angry at the world angry at the world angry 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 and I love and accept myself anyway and I love and accept myself anyway so even though when I get off the bus even though when I got off the bus I knew I was gonna have to take over I knew I was gonna have to take over and I wanted him to just leave and I wanted him to just leave he was so angry yes he was so angry and I I got some of that anger and I got some of that anger and and I love and accept myself anyway and I love and accept myself anyway so tapping on your eyebrow either one hand or both I was on the bus I was on the bus I'd had a good day at school I had a good day at school I love school I love school I could tell by your voice when you said <laughs> and I was having a pretty good time on the bus and I was having a pretty good time on the bus and the bus stopped and the bus stopped and the doors opened. and the doors opened. And I started walking down the step and I started walking down the step and there he was and there he was waiting for me waiting for me he was always waiting for me to get off the bus. He was always waiting for me to get off the bus. He was so impatient. He was so impatient. He was so angry. So angry. And I had to do what I had to do. And I had to do what I had to do. I had to take care of the kids. I had to take care of the kids. I love and accept myself anyway. And I love and accept myself anyway. I had to do what I had to do. I had to do what I had to do. It was my job. It was my job. He was angry. He was angry. He was angry at me. He was angry at me. He was impatient. He was impatient. I didn't really want to be there. I really didn't want to be there. I didn't want to have to do it. I didn't want to have to do it. But I had to. But I had to. And I love and accept myself anyway. And I love and accept myself anyway. And I did it. And I did it. I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to have to do it. I didn't want to have to do it. But I had no choice. But I had no choice. I had to do it. I had to do it. And I love and accept myself. And I love and accept myself. But I did it. And I did it. I did it. I did it. I took care of those kids. I took care of those kids. It was my job. It was my job. And I was glad he went to work. And I was glad he went to work. But I wasn't glad that I had to take care of the kids. But I wasn't glad that I had to take care of the kids. I look seems like I've been taking care of people all my life. It seems like I've been taking care of people all my life. It makes people angry if I don't take care of people. It makes people angry if I don't take care of people. Is that a true statement? Um, I don't know. It doesn't no. No. It doesn't it doesn't make people angry if I'm not taking care of them, but I think that's why I became a control freak and had to take care of everybody. So there's another food business and every mm -hmm. what a mess. You can let it go with EFT. That's, <laughs> that's true. The really cool thing is you can get all this out of your energy that's system. That's right. It's been stuck. Okay, so it's been stuck. It's been stuck. It's taking care of my brother and sister. And taking care of my brother and sister. It's having to do this. Having, having to do this. Having no choice. Having no choice. My parents had all the choices. My parents had all the choices. They made me do it. They made me do it. I didn't have a choice. I didn't have a choice. But I'm not a little girl anymore. But I'm not a little girl anymore. Maybe I can let this go. Maybe I can let this go. Because I love and accept myself. Because I love and accept myself. Maybe I can let it out of my system. Maybe I can let it out of my system. I've been carrying it for all these years. I've been carrying it for all these years. And I love and accept myself. And I love and accept myself. I love that I take care of people. I love that I take care of people. I don't love the powerlessness. I don't love the powerlessness. Maybe I could change it. Maybe I could change it. Maybe I could let this old, angry go energy go. Maybe I can let this old energy go. Maybe I can let it go. Maybe I can let it go. Maybe they were doing the best they could. 
Maybe they were doing the best that they could. I was doing the best I could. I was doing the best that I could. I was doing the best I knew how. I was doing the best that I knew how. And I love myself. For that. And I love myself. And I accept myself. And I accept myself. And I, I want to make a change. And I want to make a change. That was then. That was then. This is now. This is now. I can let go of some of that. I can let go of some of that. I can let go of the... Looking for your aspects there. Do we miss any? Uh, the black suffocating pain in her chest. Oh, uh, we haven't gone there. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. So let's just stop for a moment. See where that black suffocating pain is. See what that is. Well, uh, um, I would say it's not pounding anymore. I would probably say from a ten, I'm definitely a five. Okay. And thinking back at that, at that. Um, your father standing there when you get off the bus, going from happy, you know, uh -huh. social little girl to mm -hmm. being the caretaker. Well, I was just thinking as what came up with me is um, I didn't even have any training for this. Okay. Even though I didn't have any training for this. Even though I didn't have any training for this. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know what I was doing. Most 11-year-olds don't know how to take care of little kids. Most 11-year-olds don't know how to take care of little kids. I did the best I could. I did the best that I could. I didn't have any training. I didn't have any training. And I love and accept myself anyway. And I love and accept myself anyway. Hey, didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't have any training. I didn't have any training. They didn't show me how to do this. They didn't show me how to do this. They just threw me in. They just threw me in. They didn't have a choice. They didn't have a choice. I 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 did the best I could. I did the best that I could. With what limited amount that I knew. With what limited amount that I knew. Where are you on that? Um, one of the things that came up was I was probably, I don't know, maybe 17. And my younger brother, who was, I don't know, 10 or 11, real smart Alec, I don't know, maybe was bothering my you know, you know, younger sister or doing something, and I could not stop him. And I couldn't control him. And I ran after him, and I cornered him in the bathroom, and I had a scissor in my hand, and I said, you better stop it. You better stop it right now. You have got to stop this. And... Um, I'm so humiliated by that. Okay. So there's a, that's another whole table leg that needs to be, you know, there's still energy around that. So humiliated by it. No. Do we have time to work on that a little bit, Dawson? Why don't we, yeah. Okay. So, so this is another table leg. So even though when I was 17, oh. even when I was 17, and my 11-year-old brother, yeah, whatever. And my younger brother. My younger brother. The little brat. <laughs> a little brat. Still a brat. Yeah. <laughs> was was doing something. Was doing something. I don't even remember what it was. I don't remember what it was. And he wouldn't stop. Wouldn't stop. And I was in charge. And I was in charge. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know how to make him stop. I didn't know how to make him stop. But I love and accept myself anyway. But I love and accept myself anyway. Not really. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> That's true. So e That's good. You're good. <laughs> so e even though I was just 17. Even though I was just 17. And I didn't have any training. And I didn't have any training. And I was in charge. And I was in charge. And he was doing something. And he was doing something. I was doing the best I could. I was doing the best that I could. No, I'm not even going to be able to get to I love and accept myself. No. <laughs> I, I'm not even going to come up, is it? No. I'd like to be able to love and accept myself. I'd like to be able to love and accept myself. But I'd like to be able to at least say it. I'd like to be able to at least say it. And at some point in time be able to mean it. And at some point in time be able to mean it. So even though I chased him. Even though I chased him. With the scissors. With the scissors. I was just trying to get him to stop. I was just trying to get him to stop. But even then I knew better. But even then I knew better. And I'm humiliated. I'm humiliated by it. Were you humiliated then? I was so angry then. I don't, I just, I don't know. No, I wasn't humiliated then. So thinking back. Thinking back. About what I did. About what I did. I'm really humiliated. I'm really humiliated. 
but I accept my feelings. <laughs> and I can move on. But that that was a real yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's really hot over here. I'm like, Uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. It's the room. (laughs) (laughs) What number are you now thinking about? Seven or eleven? What's your number right now thinking about? uh, Oh, he's uh, like a two. What about? Although we only worked on a tiny little bit, the episode with your brother. Um, you know. It's definitely um, maybe a five or a six, and I could certainly work on that. I, I really didn't. I knew I was. Em- I knew recently that I was embarrassed by it, but I really didn't know the effects. And I will certainly work on that. And we didn't work at all on your grandmother. That we just kind of danced around a mm-hmm. little bit. Is there any shift at all in when you think about her? Um. The sheets, the sheets, example. Yeah, the sheets, yeah. 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 Two. Yeah. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. That's beautiful. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're so sweet. Thank you.